How many have you sold so far approximately? Just within the last, I'd say upwards of a couple thousand. There's a waiting list um, for Europe right now. Yeah, we'll have new demos over here. I think the only little difference you might see is, you know, ragtop decaling. You know, this is obviously made for the rest of the world when you refer to kilometers or kilometers. When are the demos coming to the U.S.? Uh, they're in transit right now. In transit. Yeah, so sometime in the next month. I've been reading that the top speed is anywhere from 62 to over 70. What it's is 70. It? it is 70. It's 70, yeah. Can we do that today? Yeah. I in mean, this parking lot, though? No. <laughs> you already went way over 70 you just could. out here in your car, so. <laughs> Sorry. Where'd you go? Red Hill? We, we tried a few things. Oh. There's, there's, yeah, there's, I'm still. There's some cops out there. You're ringing. So. And I'm not good at kilometers, uh, but the range, the I've been reading a variation of 100, yeah, that's yeah, what I've been reading. Is, on is on that realistic right. or is that... Yeah, that's basically what, uh, you know, based on all the years they've been making the car, um, that's based on their experience, and it has to undergo the EPA certification. So you need to say 100, that's probably a very realistic, very realistic number. Yeah, once EPA certification comes out... Is this the really standard the, connector that, that this car is using now? Yeah. This is the 17... No, that's not J7072. That's being developed for this car. Okay. You know what but the manufacturer is of the connector? Mm, that's a good question. No, I don't know. It says think right on it, so... They have it to somebody. They source it from someone else. Somebody like that. So the goal is to have... Uh, you know, they're working on getting a US DOE loan. They're in the middle of that process. Undergoing full homologation. Working to set up a plant. So there's a lot of... Irons in the fire right now. Where's um, the first city this is actually going to? They haven't announced exactly what I city. Are, but, oh, there's a few cities that they're they're looking at. So, um, so if you sold cars in Europe, what is the price of the car in Europe? Um, it's right. Well, it's a good question. Um, it's kind of comparing apples and oranges because of the incentives. Heavy, heavy incentives. You know, for them over oh, there, but like yeah, that. Well, what yeah. Is, what is the well, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up, but, but I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I don't have that answer for you right now. So, um, how fast? But I'll email charge? it to Zan so everybody has it. Um, it's about six to eight hours, depending on what the state of charge is, and that's obviously two forty. And um, two forty volt. You don't want to do one twenty. And how much current on two forty? Yeah. Uh, I believe that would be twenty amps. Is that the highest it can go? I believe 30 amps is the okay. highest it can go. So, but it's here. Okay. Um, so you're used to that. So that's two different drive modes. And uh, this is your state of charge. And this is, you know, you got 100% basically. And to shift it, you know, just put your foot on the brake and pop it down into D or E, whichever one. You can shift on the fly between these okay. two if you oh, want. Oh, I see. This, this is where it's indicated. And this has manual steering because most of the... This will be changed a little. It feels a oh, little stiff. It does. But this is going to be a little stiff because it's not, it doesn't have power steering, which is an accessory in the rest of the world. Where you have it is standard equipment. We just assume it's And air conditioning is standard. Yes. But does the this cars, have air conditioning? The cars that come and will. And will. Yeah. Okay, are you going to have other colors, or...? There's black, blue, and yellow. Should I take a hard left? You can go left, yeah. So if you have to, like, get a workout with the wheel, you've been warned. All right. <laughs> so black, blue, and yellow, so. Yeah, so four colors for right now. And then, you know, those can always change from year to year. Oh, it's, it's really got quite a bit of little improvements. Yeah, it has a little Ikea-looking feel, that Scandinavian well, design. Know, and it's that wonderful um, feeling of powerful, silent torque that an electric car has. Do I have to go on the street? Yeah, you can go right here. All right. I appreciate everybody coming all the way down here to the OC. It smells nice. All the trees are in bloom. Oh, aren't those beautiful? And then we'll hang a left here. That was my first time getting a ride in a Tesla today from Eric. Oh, darn. I would have liked to have taken oh, I, he, you. He really flies. Well, so do I. Oh, he, re he was like, oh my gosh, should I wear a neck brace? We'll hang a right here.
I like to tell people, uh, try and touch the dashboard. While I'm and driving. And they never can. Oh. <laughs> At least when I do a search. I think I got you centered. I can't really tell if... Let me look this way. Okay, you want me to shoot out the front? You want to make comments? And... Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just kind of, as I go along, as okay. it occurs to me. We have the left lane. So it has it's, a, a dar it's, a, it's a darling car. You know, people I talk to that have the old thing uh -huh. are so excited that this is coming out again. And really, it's a new improved version as yep. far as range yep. and, and speed. speed. It's not just a neighborhood electric vehicle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get up to 70. Now, now tell me, when do you think this is going to hit the U.S. market? We're going to have 500 of these hitting the U.S. during the fourth quarter of this year. And those are going to be placed in fleets on the east coast and on the west coast so right Does now that mean west coast west like coast southern like southern california coast? that'll be our phase two which would be 2011 oh. when we have them in in la orange and san diego counties are you going to start with fleet leases first mm -hmm. we're going to be selling them to fleets so are you going to sell them to fools like us next year next year, next year. i just want to make early sure. adopters we don't refer to you as fools but actual early <laughs> adopters the leaders the influencers. I just want to make sure, you know, we've had a, a, a rough history mm -hmm. with automakers only leasing so they could take them back whenever they wanted to. Well, you yeah, we're, we're transferring title. We are, unless there's a fleet that can only lease them, you know, because some fleets, they don't have that kind of upfront money. You know, and they need to spread their payments out over time. Otherwise, to consumers, it's sales. All right, I see. It's sales. Right. You know, that's that's only that to appease, you know, important. a fleet that it needs it for, as a financial matter. But eventually, it's, you know, lease to own. What would you say, in your opinion, is the biggest strength of this car? What do you like the best? I like that Think, the motor company, motor car company, has only made electric vehicles. These cars are designed from the ground up just to be electric vehicles. And you know, they have and that nearly is 20 very years. unique because so many of them are in uh, chassis. Mm -hmm. They were just ice. Mm -hmm. They were never designed to be electric. And they, uh, this company has, and then we'll hang a left at the light. We'll actually flip a left U-turn at the light. And uh, the company actually has uh, a little over 3 million real-world miles on their vehicles. Wow. So... You know, they got a really good track record, and those that still have the neighborhood electric vehicles still really like them. And they, some of them have told me they're nearly indestructible, some of the fleet managers that still have them. And they're in various parts of the U.S. still. That was a Ford product. We're, well, we're not part of Ford anymore, but it's still the same, basically the same company. Well, it's got, a, I think, has a very good reputation. People that did have them, mm -hmm. uh, however many years ago that was, mm -hmm. fell in love with them. Yeah. So, and this seems like it's going to be much a more... A step up, yeah. These will have power steering as your standard. I don't, you know, my, my not... Tesla does have power steering, so I'm not particularly... I don't have to have power oh, steering. Oh, okay. That'll be standard, so you have no choice. <laughs> so we're looking for fleets um, then in the public sector, private sector. In the, no, I go right, right here, right here, yeah. And those are going to be fleets that are, um, you know, leaders... those that are going to be enablers to have their, to install the infrastructure so that eventually that their employees will be able to have a place to charge at work and that they'll be running their cars around for, to meet certain, you know, corporate goals or government agency goals. I understand you're working with Aerovironment uh, yeah. as far as fast charging. Yeah, level three, ways. yeah, level three, 480 volt charging. Obviously only for fleet capabilities. Well, you know, I think public, uh, the public infrastructure is going to be that which would be most, um, you know, would probably have the highest demand for using, you know, that type of quick charge. I mean, fleets, they can, they can actually have a car park for half a day or for a few hours at a time, most fleets. So level two charging is fine. For it's probably the large, if not most, if not all of the fleets, they well, can deal with level two, and it's cheaper. We, you know, we just want to make sure that we get level two charging. Well, that's all we would want people to use on this car. If you were to do level one, which is 120 volt, that's as emergency backup. If for whatever reason, yeah, you can go straight, and then we'll go left at the next one. You can punch it if you want.
We'll try and make it a little more aerodynamic. The trouble is I'm used to the Tesla I know. Mode. You're spoiled. <laughs> I'm spoiled. You're in a but car that goes zero <laughs> But this is a real practical still, commuter car. This is a very with a lot of space. commuter car. Yeah. It's not well, a not punching kind of car, yeah. really. Yeah. But it's very adequate. And you know what? It's cute as a bug's ear. And it'll be a rag top. Oh, my God. It's so convertible. Almost. Maybe I'll open up and see the sky. So, in other words, you can't take the rag top. I mean, no, a rag top is like those old Volkswagens where you just roll it back. Oh, you it's roll it back. It's a material. I see. And you roll it back. It's not a sunroof where it's a hard, hard, you know, do you electric. Think, do you think we'll he's go straight. Give us a ticket? No, no, no. I hope not. <laughs> We saw a wrecked Ferrari out here earlier oh, when Eric was here. He was up on a trailer you with know, a left here. That's the trouble with something I've tried to avoid in my Tesla. It, people are tempted to drive in ways that are foolish. Mm. Well, luckily, we came around that corner. There was two police, and we were but going you know, slow. It would, have been, it would have been good PR for us if I would have gotten to take it. I'm glad everybody was able to come down here. I know real hard it is. It's very hard to come down in the middle of a week weekday when it's... We'll go to two more... We wouldn't miss it. Well, I've been trying to organize this. Thank and you so much for organizing. We'll, we'll do more. We'll do more as the new... You know, Chelsea Sexton was here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, she had a chance to drive it. And with this one, and we'll go right here. She only drove it for a few minutes. Um, but, you know, she's more on the journalistic side. So I think she would probably want to loan her, you know, for a day or two. Yeah, she's done quite a few. Yeah. Uh, thought I may even. I'll just go right here. Oops. Swing a left here. There's an old GMC truck. Yeah. And he's stopping. So, did you guys make a lot of changes from the original Ford? Body or is this I wasn't same? on the in the project. If there was changes, um, there looks, are some minor changes. I think the wheels are a little different. The body is slightly different. It's um, it's faster. It's got longer range. We go right here, and then we're gonna hit a left here. Unless you want to go be rubbernecker. <laughs> okay, so it's right here. Yeah, yes. if you hang a left at that light, it's right where that next intersection is, a couple hundred yards down. It was. That was the siren I think we just heard. So we're going to just go straight down this way. And what are you driving now? Uh, RAV4. Okay. The EV? Yep. Okay. And I think, actually, neighbor. Oh, really? And we have a veggie oil diesel. All right. We drive. And you're just covering all the bases. And your neighborhood thing, how long have you had that? Uh, 2002. Wow. So it's, uh, it's got a few years on it now. And we can go down, uh, we can go past the stop sign. So obviously this has a different look and feel. It still has the plastic body. Yep. No, I'm, I was talking about the, uh, not the original Norwegian think, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the, Ford. The, this body style was designed when Ford, uh, right. I think, had to be their, their U.S. spec car. Mm -hmm. I'm not, it looks identical, I'm just curious if they, uh, had to make many changes. Minor, a few minor changes. Brochure said it was uh, four seat optional or something like that. That's a that's a misprint. Oh. A two plus two. So what we'll do is go through this stop sign and then okay. make a U turn down here wherever you want. So we get my uh, big American feeder getting in the way of the gas and the <laughs> brake pedal that you off. You used to. Yeah, you're not the first to say that, so that's feedback we give them as well. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit close to each other. Mm -hmm. And I can't, it's a little bit low on the brake pedal. I keep wanting to hit the... the uh, and we can flip the Yui here if you want. I keep wanting to hit the, the bar instead of the... And uh, when, you, when you turn around, can you pull over to the curb? Because I'm going to close the rear hatch. I think somebody popped the button on the rear hatch and it's rattling. And you just, we're good to go. And what's the uh, MSRP supposed to be? Do you know yet? They haven't announced it for the consumers yet, and we're we're keeping mum about our pricing with fleets. And uh, availability next year or sometime? Yeah, middle to the end of next year for consumer. Right now, it's just fleets. Yeah, 
Yeah, something's not latched back there. It yeah. wasn't making that noise before. Right? Now let's pull over where it's red right up here, and you can I'll pop the latch button. Sometimes if they don't latch, they yeah. They can't I think it's them. half latched. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is there a uh, suggested weight maximum in terms of capacity in this? Uh, Passengers and luggage? I think it's like, I'll have to look it up again. It's like, I believe like around 500 something pounds. Okay, so it's pretty, you can't put a lot in here basically. You can't really haul a lot of stuff in here. It's like 29 cubic feet of storage space. Right. So it's got uh, plenty of space somewhere in yeah, uh, the weight. Yeah. Depending on how many, you know, how heavy the two people are obviously. Right. And, you know what you're hauling around. So we're going to go down past that trailer. Okay. I'm going to make the first right just past that trailer. That's nice regen. I you like can pop it down. If you punch no, it right now and then a... let your foot off. We'll That's more right. aggressive if you go to E. Uh, digital, you know, it's either on or off, and when mm -hmm. it kicks in, if you leave it, if you leave it in, you're going to want to flip a U here. Yeah. Right. B mode. Okay. If you uh, if you leave it in there when you take your foot off the off the brake, you, you know, all the passengers get whiplash. So this is uh, this is pretty nice. You like the nice regen? Yeah. All right. And it doesn't have, if you want to coast, you have to actually move the, the lever. Because it has it has regen when you take your foot all the way off. Right? Mm -hmm. So if I put it in neutral, actually, it doesn't, there it is, yeah. yeah. So it has a little bit of regen. Yeah. Oh, I only find people who are like, oh, I see you Comments? I like it. It's really nicely finished. I really, it's uh, it's very comfortable inside. Seats are great. It drives really pretty nice. Top, what's the top speed? 70. 70. That should work pretty well around here. Uh, 120 mile range is that what I? 112. 112 is the internal estimate, um, and then EPA pending final EPA right. certification. And that's uh, 24 kilowatt hour battery. Is that what I read? Correct. Is, is the final uh, lithium? Yeah. Lithium ion. Okay. Um, that should be that should be probably conservative, I would think. I think um, 100 miles might be. We'll see. Well, I can depends on EPA. Yeah, I mean, I can get I can get 120 out of my Rav4, and it's got a 26 hour pack. Mm -hmm. and it's quite a bit bigger and heavier than this too. So I would think probably depending on the tires, uh -huh. 100, 112 would be pretty easy to get. I think I could do better than that. And it's based on real world driving experiences that they've had for years. Right, right. So, I appreciate you coming out. Great, thank you very much. Thanks for I coming. Appreciate it. All right, you're welcome.